Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I'm here at Ionity with the Mini Cooper SE. I'm doing the Rokobi test. What it stands for? What does it stand for? Range, consumption and best speed for long distance driving. So what I will be doing, I'm charging the car to 50% and it's pretty good speed. Look at that. 45, 46 kilowatt at this. That's cool. Voltage is low though. I'm charging to 50%, then I go a route, um, normally 60 kilometers, but today the next exit is closed, so I have to go a bit further. So either I go off before that and then it's shorter or something, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I do it at 90 kilometers, 110, 130 GPS speed. Um, come back here then I know how much percentage uh, of the battery is gone and then we can, can calculate the range at that speed. Um, then we see the consumption at that speed in the car, in the trip meter. I can see uh, the trip meter, how much it is off from the real distance, which, so what Google Maps says. And then I time the whole thing, so from the start at 50%, till we back and charge again to 50%. Ooh, I have to go soon, it's now 49%. Then we know what's the best speed to drive 60 kilometers and charge the same thing again. So for long distance driving, let's just go. I'm on my way, driving 93 kilometers an hour, which is 90 kilometers, cheap kilometers an hour GPS speed. I reset the trip and the trip meter is really cool. Average consumption, average speed, minutes, kilometers, and when you start it, shows the time when you start it, but the kilometers is not in 100 meters, so I couldn't say for sure. I put the car in Eco Plus, even though I, I was driving a bit and I don't, feel any difference. It's still the same power. You can see the head-up display there very nicely. Um, of course cruise control is on. Uh, what else is there? Like I said green plus. I have so no climate. The, the fans are is on but no, no cooling, no heating. Um, and I have it in low region right now. Just turned around. By the way, it's 18 degrees out, uh, out there, uh, totally dry. Um, so far, my stats, if you can see that. Yes, I think so. And now I will go back to the charger where I was. I have to turn around again. And when I turn around, um, I'm uh, using Regen to slow down and then not never use more than 40% of the motor to accelerate back again. But of course, it's losing a bit, so the consumption is always higher to when I turn around and have to accelerate back to that 93 kilometers an hour. Um, I'm testing the sound system. It, it's, uh, you have to turn it up pretty loud to hear something over Bluetooth. I mean, look at that, half of the power. And this is neat that this goes back with the speed. Um, the highs are pretty good, but the, the bass is too unnatural for me. It sounds, sounds weird. And I already turned it down a bit, the bass. Nah, not my thing. But this is, of course, uh, 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 my preference. Maybe you'll like it exactly that way. Let's go on. That's, can you see everything? And we're starting with, come on, there we go, 
So we use 29, so I don't think I can drive 130 with 50%, 70 kilometers. I have to charge to 60 or maybe even more. Decent speed though, 44 kilowatt. Before we had more. So will this stay here and then this go up? So 125 amp, same as the Zoe. I just noticed that there's a projection on the on the floor it says mini. <laughs> so on the other side too. No, just on the driver's side. Oh, but the door handles are illuminated. It's nice, the charge port has a little light. And of course, in this test, we also see how many kilowatt hours had to be charged for the distance at that speed. That's also good. 50%, it just switched. 63 minutes, but we drove farther. So don't compare this to the other cars. I stopped now because I think you can see I charged 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours. I think I can do 110 with this 12 minutes for 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours. So I'm going for the next leg with 110. Now I'm on my way for this leg. 113 is the speed now. Um, these are my stats so far. And you can see that the speed here is really not a calculated one. So distance and time, it's just taking it from the speed because this is not the real speed. And consumption is pretty high. It's, six, it's 160 at this speed. And it also tells me I have 72 kilometers of range and I need to drive 50 <laughs> at 110. Okay. I turned around uh, and we're going back. So far, so far every, everything worked fine. I didn't have to slow down or accelerate once. It's just awesome. Consumption is getting a bit lower. That's nice. Totally dark, and by the way, it's not now only 16.5 degrees. Climate is still off. I just have to have the fan on one. I can't even turn on the, the seat heater in, in green plus. I'm on the last bar now, still uh, 11 kilometers to go, 29 kilometers of range, but still no warning. I have no battery warning. This should be under 12 and a half percent. Maybe at 10 percent it will give me the warning or maybe it's kilometer based. That's... That was a good run. I think I had to slow down one time and accelerate a tiny bit and it was only maybe 205 and then back up again. See where it is. I got, just got a warning at the end, 20 kilometers of range, just a little chime and that's it <laughs> and then a little mark let's see what state of charge it says 12 percent so we used 38 percent for 70 kilom 71 kilometers with 110 good to know charge to 50 percent see what the kilowatt hours are and time it but then I want to charge to 60% because I, t I cannot make this uh, run 70 kilometers with 130. Can't make it. Look what I found. When you're charging, it tells me the percentage, so state of charge, the range, and at what time it's finished. I haven't found anything where I could set a charge limit. Maybe there is a setting. Oh, climate control? No, it's something different. Setting charge current. Look at the charging speed. 46 kilowatt, 49%. And I, this is the third time I'm charging, so I don't think this car is replicating. Well, we'll see it the next time because this time it was. Oh, and there we are. 58, almost 59 minutes. So four minutes faster than with 
90. I will now charge, well, and we have 11 and a half kilowatt hours charged. I will now charge to 60% and then we do the 130. I'm on my way with 130, which is here on this speedometer 134. Got the, the ride is not comfy, the suspension is way too hard and you're flying around the whole time. It's hard to press any knobs, consumption, uh, average consumption is going down. This will not be the, the number and average speed will go up only a few kilometers so far. You can see the instant consumption down there. But oh my god, it's shaky in here. Not, not a nice ride if you want to go somewhere comfortably. You shouldn't go that fast. Same thing, 71 kilometers. And then charge. The charging speed seems pretty good. Even at 60%, I had 47 kilowatt. That's cool. I charged, like I said, to 60. But you can't see it because the next step would be... Uh, 62 and a half so that bar you can't see sadly Turned around as always and <laughs> it looks like I can make it so I have 47 kilometers of range and still, what is it, 35 to go, and the rain goes down faster than what I'm driving. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> Maybe I have to slow down in the end. Ah, uh, so with 60%, you cannot drive 70 kilometers at 130 kilometers an hour. <laughs> what do we have now? to 34 to go so 11 kilometers of margin when I started I had 26 kilometers of margin mm. the consumption at the, in the way here was above 21 but it's the breaking down put it under 21 but now it's going up again got so such a bumpy ride I'm sorry there's the warning 20 kilometers of range um, and it's I have to drive another 10 and a half 11 kilometers maybe we see a warning at 10 kilometers as well Stats. Our time. There was also a good run. Only had to stop. Uh, stop. I only had to slow down once and just for a second. So from so maybe five, ten kilometers less and then accelerate. Good run. It's not a lot going on right now during the week. At what is it? Almost uh, after nine or something. But it's colder. What is that? Fourteen degrees. Eight percent. I hope this is not true, <laughs> but 8%, um, get up, come on, <laughs> George, what is this, come on, <laughs> I got a warning at, at 10 kilometers range, electric power, severely restricted, and then 10 kilometers of range warning, and that's it, so, so it's really not about the state of charge but that's okay cook yeah almost 125 so charge at the normal 50 kilowatt charger just fine it's gonna charge a while and then we'll see if it's really faster to drive 130 if <laughs> the charger is at that distance I mean I drove 71 kilometers and I used 52 percent of the battery it's <laughs> not a lot <laughs> So 150 kilometers uh, distance between charges doesn't work at 130 with this car. And it would be weird anyways because you never would charge to 100%. I'm rocking out in the car.
<laughs> there we have it. 30 seconds, or was it even less? But 30 seconds faster when you drive at 130. But it costs you more, and the charger, of course, has to be very close <laughs> for the distance. But that was fun. So 15.7 kilowatt hours were needed. Let's stop this. Um, I will charge a bit more because I have to get home and tomorrow to work with this car. Look at the light. Cute, eh? Look at the charging speed. Even at 63% still high amperage and the voltage goes down. It would be interesting when it goes down. I mean, it will do a charging test and I want to do a range test at 90. I don't know if I do the range test at 130, it wouldn't be far and you cannot see the state of charge very well while you're driving and it's gonna rain from tomorrow on so the cons consumption would be even higher. Ah, But it was a good test, everything worked out very well. Um, it's always nice to do tests, range tests, well, maybe, maybe think of it, this is a 29 kilowatt hour battery usable that's half of what the ID3 has <laughs> and you notice it and I don't even know if the consumption is high. I have to do, I have to do a Rokobi test with the, with the ID3, haven't done that yet. But thank you much for watching, have a great day and take care. Bye.